fellow travelers on the astral plane. I will say I'm quite curious as to why I'm being asked to give an alibi for the night of the fire when I've made it very clear where I was. I was there. I'll say it as many times as you want me to. I was there. I was there! I know that a few of you have had a difficult time accepting my truth ever since the B performance of my early years. And while I'm still young and developing as an artist, I stand by that particular piece as it demonstrates the relative and arbitrary nature of the truth. And if we are all just specks of stardust in the grand scheme of life, then who's to say that one configuration of stardust is more true than another? That's my challenge to you. Anyway, it's nice to have someone who finally listens to me. It's clear the professor has seen through all of the cancerous naysaying and believes me when I told the authorities and literally everyone else that on the night of the fire there was a hooded figure escaping from the flames as they rose up to the heavens. Who would do such a thing? Clearly someone who was not in the physical position to process what they had done. Me, on the other hand, I was basically in the nude as I was in the middle of performing a very sacred ritual. With nothing but the blood bag that holds the bones of my humanity intact, I pushed past the smoke and into the building where I instinctually knew Margot was in trouble. Side note, I'm currently being tested to see if my brain creates more mirror neurons than the average person, thus making me an empath. An empath. An empath. But once I was inside, the force of the heat overwhelmed me. And I swear, I could hear the walls calling out as they started to break down, like the ghosts of Standish Hall making themselves known to one last human. And the next thing I knew, I was laying on the ground with an incredibly handsome fireman looking at me and saying, we found you in the ashes. 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 Which is why, over the summer, while most of you spent your time learning new sailing knots, I went to the courthouse and legally changed my middle name to Phoenix. I know that many of you will not believe my truth, but there it is. Do with it what you will.